Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed viewers, welcome to this special coverage of Singapore's 58th National Day message by Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long. I'm here to break down the key points of this address, so let's dive right in. Prime Minister Lee started off by acknowledging the recent cases involving ministers and members of parliament. He mentioned the investigations into the renting of properties by Law and Home Affairs Minister K. Shunmugam and Foreign Minister Vivian Bolakrishnan, the ongoing probe into Transport Minister S. Iswaran, and the resignations of Speaker Tan Chuan Jin and Tampines MP Cheng Li Hui due to an inappropriate relationship. He reassured the nation that despite these incidents, the authorities have handled them transparently, reflecting the government's commitment to keeping Singapore free of corruption and wrongdoing. PM Lee emphasized that Singaporeans and international partners expect honesty, integrity, and propriety from their government. He stressed the importance of maintaining high standards to retain trust in the system and to work collectively toward progress. The Prime Minister then shifted focus to a key concern of many Singaporeans, housing. He acknowledged the aspirations for good and affordable housing and highlighted the government's significant investments in building HDB flats. He chose the backdrop of Sky Oasis at Dawson to discuss housing, noting that Queenstown's Dawson estate has become a prime example of successful HDB development. However, the rise in HDB flat prices, particularly in mature estates with better amenities and locations, has raised concerns. PM Lee acknowledged this challenge and pointed out that more flats will be constructed in existing estates due to limited undeveloped sites. As a result, these flats will be in greater demand, impacting their prices. Despite these market dynamics, the government is committed to ensuring that public housing remains accessible and affordable for all income groups. PM Lee indicated that adjustments to HDB's housing scheme will be made to achieve this goal. More details about these adjustments will be shared during the National Day Rally on August 20. Addressing Singapore's rapidly aging population, the Prime Minister discussed efforts to make estates and homes more senior-friendly. With a growing percentage of seniors in the population, the government is investing in visible signage, pedestrian-friendly zones, senior-friendly fixtures in homes, community spaces, and active aging centers to enhance the quality of life for seniors. PM Lee also highlighted the government's commitment to providing support for older workers, including enhancements to the Central Provident Fund CPF, system. Targeted assistance will be provided to lower-income workers, and measures will be introduced to assist those who haven't accumulated sufficient CPF savings for retirement. The Prime Minister concluded his message by underscoring the strong bond between the people and the government. He emphasized that this collaboration gives Singapore an edge over others and called on everyone to work together to preserve and strengthen this bond. In conclusion, Prime Minister Lee's 2023 National Day message touched on critical issues including transparency in governance, affordable housing, support for seniors, and older workers' welfare. As we commemorate Singapore's 58th National Day, let's engage in meaningful discussions about these topics in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on more important insights. Together, let's continue building a brighter future for Singapore. Thank you for joining us.